and welcome to the MBS show episode number 333. I am your host Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Starstream. Hello, hello. How are you doing, man? Uh, it's been fine. Not much has changed. Awesome, awesome. That's good, that's good. But I guess I'll update more later on in the show. Alright, alright. So anyway, let's get right into the news. So, uh, first up, new Eco Struggles DVD gets some more extra details. So if you guys remember, uh, there was a Equestria Girl DVD listed on the UK version of Amazon a few weeks ago. And it seems that there's a few information about said DVD. Um, it seems that in the special DVD, you're going to get some of the specials. If I do remember, right, Forgotten Friendship and... What was it again? Roller Coaster or something? Roller Coaster of Friendship. Yeah, you you notice it? You seen in the thing? Yes, I seen it. It says uh, eighty eight minutes. It seems I only forgotten friendship and roller coaster friendship without any extras. So that that kind of sucks. Is it now? Yeah, I mean, like you don't get any extras, like music videos or behind the scenes, probably like that. I don't know, or commentary, you know. Yep. Well, apparently it's Amazon UK yet again. Yeah, probably, probably. I mean, uh, we, we don't really know anything more other than that. So we'll have to wait and see. Yes, well, it does say that it's coming out in the uh, 22nd of October. So I guess from there we could just wait more longer and then they will just inform what else is going to be there. Other than that, it will, it will just only be too special. So, uh, well, it will be a collector's stuff, but it may not be fully worth it because you may not get everything. You may not get all the extras. Possibly, but hey, uh, it's one of those things where we can only hope that it gets better. So yeah, let's move on to the next news. And well, still on the pony quote unquote drama, um, it seems that now Hulu and Amazon Prime are going to be showing ponies on September 21st. So this could be a reason for why Netflix is going topsy turvy up and down. Is it now? Yep. Because, you know, if you, you know, I think we covered this news for three weeks straight now for almost a month, probably. And it seems, I think so. you know, it seems this is the reason why, because, yeah, uh, Pony is going to be on Hulu and Amazon Prime. So, yeah. Um, I, I, in my opinion, I'm kind of happy for it in some sense, because, well, more, uh, if it's more streaming services means that we have more chance of watching more ponies. But the problem is, um, Hulu and Amazon Prime are only available in the States. I'm not 100% sure for Amazon Prime, but I do know that Hulu is a, an American exclusive. Yes, that is true. But remember, Amazon Prime is useful, especially those who got Twitch account, because you could use it as a... Well, it's one of the perks of having an Amazon Prime. You Not just you get free shipping, you also get like a lot of uh, things here and there, what like uh, free Twitch subscribes. And uh, what else? I don't know. But a lot, I know a lot of people use Amazon Prime, so uh, having ponies on there is not bad. But does that count for people outside of the US? I'm not too sure. I think you even outside of the country, you can still use Amazon Prime, just that you're... Selection is a bit restricted. Well, then again, there is also Amazon Music. So, uh, there's that. Mm, Alright, probably one of those cases. But still, uh, it seems now that, yeah, we now know a reason why. And it seems to be that Season 7 has no expiry date listed for now. Yay. So, um, at least uh, Netflix will still have some ponies. So, yay, ponies. <laughs> now, let's head into the last news. And in the last news is, well, it's a pretty interesting one. Because it seems that a My Little Pony pop-up cafe is, sorry, uh, it seems that a My Little Pony cafe is heading to Singapore. So remember well, that cafe in Japan that we mentioned a while back? Well, it's not just that. There was also the Rainbow Dash Burger. Did you remember that? Oh yeah, that was in Thailand, right? Yes, that was in Thailand. And someone actually went there and t- tasted the thing and... Yeah. yeah. I don't really remember. I don't remember the update on that one. But Well, since we always have all these uh, pop-up cafes uh, in Japan, like all those fancy, fancy cafes, well, finally, we're, 
finally we have one in Singapore. So yeah. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. And seems that now it's ponies turn, so yay ponies. Yep. And um this cafe it's called uh what you call this? Oh, it's been a while. I, I kinda of It's forgot. a Kumoya. Uh, it's a what you call it's a limited edition kind of thing starting from the twenty seventh of September. Lasted all the way until thirtieth of December. Oh that's cool, that's cool. Which so happened to those who are uh, will be at Sea PonyCon. So uh, let's make a trip over there, won't you think? Yeah, that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome because uh, Komoya here does a lot of um, how do I put this? Relatable. I won't uh, say relatable, but more marketing in terms of their food. license. Yeah, I say. Yeah, thank you. A license. license food stuff because they had the Mister Mister Men's. Yeah, I don't know. You, you know the. Mr. Smile, Mr. Something, Mr. Happy. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. I don't even remember. Yeah, they have Care Bears and they have other things in between. So now it's the ponies turn to have their fun in the sun. And yeah, they, they have a lot of good food on the menu. Um, it seems that they have what? Nacho cheese fries, uh, truffle fries, golden sweet potato fries, karyage chicken with show you. Uh, glaze show you show you glaze something like that but the thing is that well the team looks like it has a bit of mixture of uh, what you call it the what do you want to call this already visual case style oh no cute style yeah that's what they call it yeah, yeah. yeah but still it's one of those like yeah, but it's still one of those things where um, they're a team restaurant they're having the ponies and whatnot. but essentially they're just normal food because uh, both of Rainbow Fun Udon with AB. And yeah, the only thing re- pony related is just Rainbow Dash. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> well, at least they have this fancy Twilight burger with wings. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hey, uh, it's one of. And it's already popular. Like, mm, okay. They haven't even opened yet and it's already popular? Really now? Uh, yeah. But the what you call it, the Galaxy Cake look interesting. I mean,. It just reminds me of that Galaxy Donut. Do you remember that, Norman? Yeah, I don't 100% really remember, but kind of. No, it was, there was a trend back then, like, was it last year? There was the, where a donut was having a, some certain glaze ah, that yeah. makes it look uh, Galaxy. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now Galaxy it's for this one, yeah. And there was such a, yeah. And this one, the Magical Princess with Magic Potion Galaxy Cake, it's kind of the same thing. Hmm. But, when it says uh, you can pour your own galaxy glaze, it does reminds me a bit of um, the lava cake thing. Oh, yeah. But it doesn't look like that. But still, um, the food here are kind of awesome. And the prices are okay. Uh, a bit pricey for my taste. It's, um well, to those who, uh, to make, make it simplify, the average price for the food, I mean, for the main meal is about 20 same dollar, which is about, I think it was about 15 US dollar, something like that. Probably. I could be wrong with my conversion. I, I don't think, wait, I think the Singapore dollar is about almost one to one, or is it 0. 0.5, something like that? No. Nope. No? It's a bit, uh... We're both checking the currency thingy, just because we want to kind of figure things out. So wait, uh, how was it again? Yes. $28? Okay, so let's do 28 yeah, I am right. It's about fifteen US dollar. So it, the average meal is about fifteen US dollar. Oh. And as for the drinks, let's just say it's about uh five US dollar kind of thing. Well, to you guys, it may sound cheap for oh, the drinks. I, I don't think so, but man. Like, for the food, I mean, yeah. the thing is, uh, Norman, you do have to remember they have to pay a lot more for food. Remember, but then again, this is the Asian size, as we call it. Yeah. So it's in the sense that it's more expensive, but. Well, at least they have one fancy snacks, uh, truffle fries. True, that true. That looks fancy. But um, here's the thing. Uh, with all of this, there are some selected dishes that gives you free stuff. Like, for example, the uh, Magical Princess with Magic Potion Galaxy Cake. Uh, you'll get a free yeah. Twilight Key Ring plush. And yeah. for, what is this? One of the mains, I think, with with every order of friendship, Meal loves seafood curry rice. Yeah. So you buy that, you'll get a pony coin pouch and so on. 
So yeah, um, some yep. dishes give you free gifts, awesomeness, and the and the drinks also. Like the they serve the limited edition coaster. Oh, that cool. looks very nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do like the coaster. That is uh, what you call. That is a really collectible stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those those you want to collect. Those that you want to collect. But um, those yeah. coasters are limited edition. No pricing. Uh, for the yep. what you would call this uh Twilight Sparkle Keyring Plush, that's about fifteen dollars for free. I and mean, the pouch are not. The, well. the thing is that those the keyring plush and the pouch you can literally just buy it somewhere else. But the coaster is limited, oh, yeah, which yeah. means that once it ran out, it means it's never gonna be there. I have not seen any of the coaster patterns before. I mean, judging from my experience, that is. Yeah, but be, let's be honest here. These coasters are using which we'll call this um, uh, stock photos from I'm guessing the movie for this one I don't know I mean the thing is that we don't even know how it actually looks like real life I mean it could be better than one of the quotes that I have which I have not even used it until now <laughs> because it's too precious <laughs> yeah, but I don't know man like um, this is one of those things where I'm scratching my chin and pondering is it even worth it to go well, no man, you should go you go try it out first. Or maybe ask someone yeah. in Singapore to try it out first. Probably, probably. Yeah, we will see. Um if any of our listeners are from Singapore and have the chance to go there, uh go and let us know. See how it tastes like and see if it's worth it or not. But in the end, um I not hundred percent sure. Maybe I'll visit and try it out. But if not, I'll go to other places with some more fancier food. That's true. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Well, Norman, but you do remember that you're a foodie, right? So you kind of have to go try it out eventually. Oh, yeah, true, <laughs> true. But hey, um, that's... Or, for... else, or else your Instagram will be a bit sad. <laughs> uh, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But anywho, um, that's the news for this week. And yeah, this week has been pretty slow on the news. So anywho, let's head into the next topic. And what have you been doing with our week? So, Star, you said you have something to tell us. Oh, yes. Uh, well, one thing I want to say is that I finally got a job now. So, uh, tips to that. Yay, I congratulations. I got uh, some... Yeah, thank you. So, uh, no, it's not that bad. I mean, it will be a lot more busy considering that I need to clean up uh, a lot of work from the pe- previous person. Which, the person at least is still there. Just that I need... Now I'm. They are handing over the work to me, so I still need to clean up a lot of things and then do a lot of documentation. So uh, it's gonna be a lot of work there. Uh, all right. Let's... And um, yeah. And uh, other than that, I kind of uh, just uh, uh, having a bit of a slow week also. But at the very least, now that I confirm, I have a bit of cash now. So uh, I pretty much have also ordered uh, the the wish list thing that I actually wanted. <laughs> oh, nice, nice. I mean, I, I actually ordered the the life's uh, the premium uh, the premium uh, Digimon plush that I wanted <laughs> the for like a while now. <laughs> yes, the Terriamon. I finally got it. Oh, well, uh, I still need to wait because it's uh, I could just choose it as a pay later kind of thing uh-huh. and uh, I could just uh, uh, what do you call it uh, get it later because considering that the plush will just only be released in uh, January so I still got a lot of time to pay up for the thing but well since that it is uh, now it's from, uh, I kind of uh, can I kind of asked the, the what do you call it the management to for permission for uh, unpaid leave so I could go convention. But, well, the only thing is that I, could, I may not, high chance that I may not be able to make it to see PonyCon, but I at least could make it to uh, Friendship Express. So, uh, better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, man. Yeah, like, I can't wait to meet you at the Friendship Express again, man. And probably we'll do a panel. Like, yeah. from what I understood from uh, Doc, he told me last week that the con space is going to be more personal so yeah we, we could have a nice round table kind of set up and we can do a show like that so maybe it'll be fun it'll be fun probably we'll do something um, involving the audience i don't know what yet because mm-hmm. um, people who know me knows that i always do things almost to the last minute 
<laughs> yeah, it is true. I mean, well, if it's not last minute, then there's also technical derps. Well, no, the technical <laughs> derps is um, a staple of the show. Like, everybody knows about that. Like, if... Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Here's the unwritten rule. Um, everybody who has been part of the MBS show will face this. Um, if you're a core member of the MBS show, you will have derps in every project that you do. Uh, with Dan and Doc at the Friendship Express 2, um, they had Skype problems. Like, this is one of my favorite stories to tell because this is so unseen that nobody really thought about it because, hey, you wouldn't really think about it if you were in the States or whatnot. Story is, we were supposed to have a phone conference with Michelle Krieber. Um, Time was supposed to be, um, I, I think, what, let's just say 10 p.m. their time. And, okay, mm-hmm. when we check our watch locally, okay, it's 10 p.m. their time, let's get going. But they're not on. What the hell is going on? Oh, panic, everybody's in the chaos mood and whatnot. Suddenly, oh, they like savings. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that is always the best kind of memory. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I I was having a what you call a dinner with my friend just now. Uh-huh. Uh, so I I was uh, recalling all those uh, fun uh, what you call the fun memories of uh, conventions and whatnot. I mean, not that kind of uh, fun memories. I just talk about the experience of of my ex- uh, staying at a hospital and whatnot. And uh, part of the one thing that I do notice is that it involves a lot of drinking and uh, playing card games. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, but those are really fun, fine, uh, what you call a very fun memory, and I kind of like that. Yeah, it's still cool, man. It's still cool. Um, cons are awesome. You, you should go and experience one and, well, make your own memories. Make your own memories. So, yeah. But but one thing I do say, though, the having a small con is. Versus, like, the difference between a big con and a small con is that having a small con is fun, by the sense that everyone is, uh, like, mingled with one another much more easier compared to having a big one, where, in a sense, that everyone is in their own circle and it's kind of hard to, like, say, uh, hey, uh, I know you, number 8,000, uh, participant or something yeah, like yeah. that, that kind of. <coughs> and uh, it's also easier to win a lucky draw. So yeah. <laughs> nah, true, true. I mean, here's the thing. Um, here's the thing with cons, uh, big cons versus smaller cons. The smaller cons, it feels more personal. You know everybody. You get to talk to everybody, and the interaction is more personal. Uh, versus yeah, the larger but... con, which is a very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Very open. Uh, I don't know. I won't say private or most mm-hmm. intimate. It's just. More it's, wide it's abroad, like very open. Yeah, so yeah. you it's you won't open. get to see everybody, and yeah, you go. No, people won't really know you and stuff, and yep. But the pros of a much larger con is the floor space, the options, the entertainments and whatnot. There are those are much larger. That I can agree, and also uh, more. And means that your wallet is more empty than. Yeah, true, true. But I don't know. It's one of those cases, you know. So I I find it, sorry, I personally find it hard to pick one or the other. I am more inclined to smaller cons because of how personal it is. But larger cons have those options, and sometimes option is good. So it depends. It depends really. Well, larger cons means that your entry ticket can be cheaper. <laughs> That's Not one thing. really. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, really. it's one of those things, I guess. Yep, true, true. So, uh, anything else, man? No, that will be all. All righty then. Now on and... to you, Norman. What have you been doing on this week? So, as for me, ah, well, by the sound of my voice, you can already tell that something's wrong with me, and I think I caught a cold on top of whatever I had the past two weeks. So yeah, oh man, like I for, for this month, I haven't been really, I haven't been going one hundred percent on my health thingy. So yeah, I, I don't know, man. Like I just kind of need to rest a bit and reset the sleep schedule and whatever it is. So I, I need to do that. 
for my case, I somehow managed to reset my sleep schedule nice. <laughs> ever since I like work. So it was like kind of an instantaneous kind of thing. So responsibility. Normally, I was sleeping. At, I don't know. <laughs> kind of hate that. times. I just wish I could sleep longer, but apparently, I got so tired one time. I kind of sleep at eight p.m. and next thing I know, I wake up at two a.m. So I was like, God dang it, <laughs> that's not right. But um, let's see. Um, as for me, on the other end of well, being sick and whatnot. Um, I've been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering. Like, uh, wow, well, um, Magic the Gathering has been really eating up a lot of my free time. And specifically, the Commander format. And, you know, I've been talking about this for the past week now, and I'm not going to bore people about it. It's a lot of fun if you are interested in Magic, but you're too timid to dive in. But want to have a lot of fun, I would suggest buying a pre-constructed deck of the commander series uh, basically you get 100 cards and you can play the rival box and that'll be fun a lot of fun um, other than that I've been listening to a new podcast surprise Ooh. Um, but does it but does that improve your podcast skill the guy <laughs> oh, you kind of really <laughs> not 100% sure I don't want to emulate them but um, the podcast I'm listening to is The Command Zone, hosted by Josh Lee Kwai and Jimmy Wong. Um, they're mm. a Magic the Gathering-centered podcast, mostly on the Commander format. That's why The Command Zone. And it's a lot of fun. Like, they talk about the whole um, Magic the Gathering thing. Like, they talk about the game, the deck stuff, and the well basically the game they just talk about um the game's uh tips strategy and whatnot so if you are into magic and play commander i do recommend go and listen to them and also watch their youtube channel um same name the command zone sometimes they show you gameplay of videos that they play so yeah it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun so other than that, that's about it. I guess uh, Overwatch is going to be one of those things that I always play. So no need to touch upon that. Yeah, and there was also the the what do you call it the phone announcement. What? Which one? <laughs> have Have you heard about the new iPhone announcement? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The new the new iPhone announcement. <laughs> I I already na- she's the name. Yeah, I I, I already have a name for them. <laughs> um, it's iPhone 10 proper, iPhone 10 standard, and iPhone 10 legacy. Uh, I just hate. I, I just don't understand what's with the name. For God's sake, I you, I don't know, man. It sounds so weird. I don't know. Like the iPhone 10 S. Okay, well, yeah, because they're using the S series, and then the iPhone 10 Max. 10 Max, right? Like X. Yeah, Ma- X, a... X Max. Yeah. Yes. S. S Max. Oi, oi, oi. I, 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 I don't even know what to say anymore. It's so weird, the name. Yeah. It's like they really ran out of the name and then say, oh, let's just slap. Uh, since uh, no more nine, let's just slap, slap everything with ten and just slap with something with, uh, you know, uh, S. They make it extra small or like make it super strong and make it max size or oh, something. Oh, God. <sighs> Yeah, but that's Apple and, and their naming convention. Yep. But in all honesty, mm-hmm. uh, when it comes to phones, right? Like, in all honesty, in all honesty, when it comes to phone, uh, my friend told me something yesterday where he showed me that he bought a new phone, and it's mm-hmm. the Poco phone. Oh, um, China brand one. Yeah, I I forgot who made the Poco phone. Was it Xiaomi or am I? Oh, it's oh, Poco phone. Yeah, Poco phone, Poco phone, Poco phone. It's by yeah, Xiaomi. It's yeah, phone. Xiaomi. Xiaomi. Yeah. Yep. So, uh, what can I say? He told me that the Poco phone was at least in terms of processing power thirty times stronger than the iPhone eight, but in but it lacks in a few areas. But the price is about thousand two hundred and seventy Malaysian ringgit. It feels more what you call it a, a reachable kind of deal. Yeah, because um, in terms of iPhones, iPhones cost about triple or double that price here in Malaysia. So you're not going to get the bang for your buck. 
So I don't know. I mean, uh, in all honesty, with phones, I'm not a phone guy. I don't regularly change my phone every month or year. I always use the one phone until it's lagging and forces me to change. Like my previous phone was an iPhone five, and my and I upgraded to an iPhone eight plus, and I got my iPhone five when it first launched. So that huge gap there, like yeah, it's about time. But hey, um, that's me. If you guys out there feel like iPhone sucks and whatever it is, yeah, it's your own prerogative. It's your own opinion. And in all honesty, I do agree. The current iPhone now is not bang for your buck. I would recommend going out there and buy something from Huawei or Oppo or even Xiaomi. Like they have much more. Bang for your buck phones. Yeah, I can agree. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But still, uh, Star, you you recently bought a new phone, right? I didn't bought a new phone. No. I bet I didn't bought a new phone. You didn't? Nope. Unless you mean uh, my new headphone, then oh, yeah, no. I have uh, two headphones no, right because now. Because you said that you broke your iPhone. Oh, uh, yeah, I broke my iPhone, but uh, I still have not changed. I'm still using my current uh, iPhone 5. Oh, okay. Uh, it's a downgrade, basically. Oh, all right, all right, right. And uh, it's a bit painful, considering uh, I mentioned before, I lost all my photos and everything. Oh, so man, that I'm sucks. Well, other than that, uh, yeah, it's kind of sad. I mean, well, I will eventually get my new phone and whatnot. But other than that, uh, I still need to finish up my PC build. So Your PC that. is already strong. You don't need a new one. Well, my completion of PC means that I need to change my monitor. The monitor, eh? Yep. Alright, no problem, no problem. But anyway, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions on the show, you can contact us at themutualgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Star, where can the good people find you? People can find me on my DeviantArt, Angelico XX, or my Twitter account. Same thing, the same one also. Alrighty then, alrighty then. And also please subscribe and read us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date and stitch your radio and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us, you can also catch us on PonyvilLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also don't forget to subscribe to the review and discussion podcast available on iTunes and Stitch your Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, and Sephir Heart Song talking about the Pony episodes, comics, and movies. And sometimes we do other content other than ponies. Miraculous Ladybug is, seems to be one of those things that we like to talk about. And yeah, discussions. Yes, we recently had a discussion podcast about why fans want things to end. It was a very insightful topic discussion. Yes. So anywho, uh, if you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Master of Lag, Jeffrey, Tristan, Burka Cat, Charles, Starstream, Lucky Knight, and also Amy. Thank you so much, guys, for the awesome support. You guys keep being awesome. So, thank you. I have been Norman Sanzo. And this is Starstream. And we will guys catch you next week with another fun episode of the NBS show. See ya. See ya.